air system part 4 in this lecture moisture separators and receivers are going to be discussed this is the typical layout of instrument air system in this layout we can see the position of the moisture separator it is just after the after cooler after the moisture separator the instrument air is going to air receiver so we are going to discuss moisture separator and the air receiver request it is hoped that this lecture is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe moisture separators since moisture removal in the after cooler is only as effective as the after cooler's ability to lower the air temperature any additional moisture is removed by the use of moisture separators the moisture separators are usually installed in the air line between the after cooler and the receiver they also may be installed prior to components requiring additional moisture protection most separators are designed for instrument air use centrifugal force or redirection of flow to throw out water droplets others use felt discs rotating elements or porous stone discs to separate the moisture from the air some designs employ the use of a water cooled condenser inside the separator making it similar to another after cooler once the moisture has been separated usually it is removed by an automatic tap or blow down valve controlled by a timer on manual systems accumulated moisture should be blown down regularly plants which do not have moisture separators prior to the air receiver rely more heavily on the receiver to act as a moisture separator this may cause accelerated corrosion of the receiver walls to blow minimum wall thickness requirements and can become a safety hazard receivers air receivers all storage tanks should be provided in all installations using positive displacement air compressors receivers when liberally sized greatly reduce the frequency of compressor loading use of a receiver with dynamic air compressors is not important because they operate to equalize the output with system demand however a receiver provides a storage capacity which can be used for a limited period of time in case of compressor failure receivers serve the following functions dampen the compressor discharge pulsations serve as reservoirs to reduce the impact of sudden pressure changes during periods of 
unusually heavy demand exceeding compressor capacity prevent frequent loading and unloading of the compressor serve to precipitate some of the moisture in the air that may have failed to condense in the after cooler and the separator for purposes of retrofit or to investigate system operation air compression compressor receiver capacities may be calculated it is advisable however to consult a receiver manufacturer who may be aware of specific cases where additional capacities need to be added manufacturers can recommend required receiver wall thicknesses that allow for corrosion over the expected plant life incremental cost for an additional 1 by 8 to 3 by 16 of an inch thickness of tank metal or using corrosion resistant steel for tank fabrication is far less than the replacement or repair cost for a of a pressure vessel at the 13 or 14 year point of an expected 20 years life another important service the receiver manufacturer can provide is to recommend coatings that can save many replacement or repair costs use of non asme receivers is not recommended many federal state and local laws regulate the construction of unfired pressure vessels and they should be strictly adhered to asme receivers are furnished complete with asme approved safety valves pressure gauges hand holes or man holes and drain valves asme vessels should be inspected periodically to check proper pressure setting of the safety valve it should be at least 5% less than the stamped maximum pressure on the tank that the gauge calibration is current that the receiver is continually drained or periodically drained by shift routines moisture accumulation can cause severe corrosion problems integrity of coatings paint and corrosion inhibitors vessel should be recoated if necessary this diagram shows a typical compressed air receiver next lecture the next lecture shall be instrument air system part 5 in this lecture some other important component of the instrument air system shall be discussed request it is hope that this lecture is useful to you please press like please subscribe